Alright guys, it's uh, January 10th. We're down the trap line here now, late this evening. Set a few traps there yesterday evening. On this uh, bit of mink sign I got here. I don't know if you can see it there, you pick it up on camera. There's a little trail that goes right along there. Goes up the bank there, comes on along. Good job to pick it out now, the trail is right along here. And it goes right into that hole there. Goes down in the rocks. So I set it up yesterday with a trap. And bang on. So we got a nice mink here. Yes siree. So I'll get this guy out and reset the trap here. Hopefully pick up another one. I know they're not uh, worth all that much this year, but uh, mink are prone to move from one area to another. Could be lots of them every year. Next year might be another one, so take them all again. Anyhow, I'll get this trap reset and uh, carry on. Alrighty, that's the reset right there. Trap here, camouflage with a few old leaves and a few dead twigs. Uh, as you can see the hole that goes down under that rock there. Mink uh, as they pass along, they, it's a natural set, no bait required or nothing, so uh, picks one up every time. So we'll leave this here for a while and hopefully we'll pick up another one. Alright guys, today is January the 11th. We're down the trap line today doing a bit of scouting around one thing or the other and uh, this is uh, what I came across. You can see all the holes there in the banks and a big pile of mink scat all over the place here. So I know I got a prime location found, den site. So you see all the little pets going out through Going out through the trees there, so I set up a trap there in that hole. Seems like there's a lot of activity there, so coming in and out. And uh, three or four spots head around there. Just coming through here. Another big pile of mink scat there. And I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but you can see the pet going along there. Goes up and over, over to them big rocks there, and they got another spot there where they're staying. So I got uh, half a dozen traps set up around here and uh, hopefully we'll pick up a few. So, you know, late season you're mainly setting on sign. I ain't got no big lot of traps out now so set on sign and uh, hopefully pick up a few. Nice shot of the den area down there. I got to get a 155 trap per there. The 120 is a bit too small. So, uh, anyhow, we'll see what happens there. Give her a few days now. We got some bad weather moving in, I think, and uh, usually minks moves in bad weather, so good time to ever set up. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, Dave Wilcox Jr. Last night's Trapper Chat on January 10th was an uh, awesome job, uh, covering a lot of humane topics and uh, humane trapping standards and well I believe that uh, every trapper out there should strive for humane trapping no matter what, no matter what the regulation, you still should strive for humane trapping. Treat the animals with respect, they deserve it. That's why we're out here chasing them, because we love to do it and you got to treat them with respect. If not, we won't be at it much longer. If the hanties get their way, we wouldn't be at it at all. So, anyhow, we'll uh, carry on and uh, see what the rest of the trap line brings.